Hi everybody, it's Barbara from Art and Soul Creations. Today I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you how you can make your own glitter paper. The glitter paper that you see on this card and on these eggs I've made myself. And it's just as nice as the glitter paper that you can go out and buy at your local scrapbook store or at Michael's. <clears throat> But you may find that you need a certain color, and maybe they don't carry that color. Or maybe you're working at 12 o'clock at night and the stores are closed. So anyway, this is the glitter paper that I recently purchased at Michael's. And it's nice, but it's also in the range of about $3 a sheet. The glitter paper that you can make is going to be a lot cheaper for you and give you a lot more flexibility as far as colors that you uh, ultimately will make. You can actually utilize patterned paper as well because I did it on this patterned paper and it turned out really good. So depending on the project that you're working on you may want to use patterned paper or you may need to use patterned paper so don't be afraid to try your patterned paper. But anyway um, this is the card that I designed and um, used glitter paper on. And now I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to do this. So let me move a few things out of the way and we are going to go ahead and get started. The things you want to have on hand is you definitely want to use a Versamark pad and you're going to use some Glitter. I use glitter for, and embossing powder from sparkleandsprinkle.com. This happens to be sparkling snow and it is just an awesome glitter. It is so sparkly. The nice thing about this glitter is it takes on the color of whatever project that you're working on or whatever paper you're using. So anytime you need a glitter and um, you don't want to use a specific color this is a great glitter to have. This is my go-to glitter all the time. I use it for a lot of different projects. The other product that we're going to be using today is an embossing powder and this embossing powder is called Shimmer and I'm going to try and hold this up a little bit closer to the camera so that you can hopefully see the fact that this embossing powder has glitter embedded in it. And that's what gives you the capability of making your own glitter paper. Now, another thing, too, is I've learned by playing around with this technique is when you work with uh, glitter and this embossing powder with glitter embedded in it, it is really going to get on your Versamark pad. So what I did is I took a label and indicated on here that this is to be used with making of glitter paper. So look at that pad. It is so glittery. So now I just use this when I'm going to uh, work on glitter paper because I don't want to contaminate any other product or excuse me project when I am uh, utilizing this pad. So and um, we're going to use a purple today and I'm going to go ahead and do this um, patterned paper as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I just re-inked this so this should be pretty, um, pretty juicy. Now I'm going to go ahead and coat my shape with the Versamark and you can see how the glitter that's on the pad is coming off onto the shape, so that's another reason why you want to dedicate this pad to using with uh, just the glitter. Now, I'm going to add glitter to this. I know that the, sh the embossing powder already has glitter in it, but this just adds even more glitter, and you know glitter paper is very, very glittery. So I'm just going to start out with a layer of glitter and you have to remember that glitter will not permanently adhere to a pigment ink or a Versamark. So what we're going to do next is we're going to coat this shape, this egg shape, 
with the shimmer embossing powder. Just tap off the excess. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to heat emboss this. So let me get my little heat tool out here and my tool that I use to hold it so I don't burn my fingers. Okay, that takes care of the first step. And as you can see, it's it's already pretty glittery. And if you miss a spot, if there's a, there's a spot up here where the tool was that's not quite covered, we're going to pick that up on this second step. So on the next step, you're going to take your Versamark embossing pad and you're going to recoat your shape. And if some of this comes off, don't be too concerned because it will get recovered. And again, this time I'm just going to use the shimmer embossing powder. You want to coat the whole shape with the embossing powder. You want to tap off your excess and you're going to reheat it to set that embossing powder. So let's go ahead and do that. And basically, you're done. That's it. This is your egg that has been glittered and turned into glitter paper. Turned out really nice, didn't it? I'm going to go ahead real quick and do this patterned paper egg as well, just to show you that it works so great. And you can see where this glitter is coming off from this pad. So that's why you want to take a pad and dedicate it to this, uh, to this process. Again, I'm going to put glitter on there for my first step. And remember, it doesn't permanently stick. Next, I'm going to come back and recoat that with my shimmer embossing powder. Tap it off. Let's go ahead and heat set it real quick. And then Recoat one more time with this first mark pad. Add a second coating of the shimmer embossing powder. And heat it. should take care of it. That was only two layers. Turns out really good. You can go ahead and put a third layer on there, but I really don't think you're going to need it. So again, whatever project you're working on, and then you can go ahead and adhere your cardstock to the project. Here's the card that I made originally. And oh, by the way, if you like that little chick, 
he and the, uh, and the uh, words are on this great stamp set from Sparkle and Sprinkle. This is their newest Easter stamp set. It's called Easter Chicks, and it is available online on www.sparkleandsprinkle.com. So that's all I have for you today. Again, this was Barbara at artandsoulcreations.blogspot.com. So come back and visit me sometime or come over to my, uh, my blog. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.